Booyah! Economic Ninja here. I'm gonna talk about NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Holy cow, are you excited? I'm pumped. I got my coffee, I'm ready to rock and roll. We'll do some one, two, three boozles. All right, cool, we're done. Got the blood flowing. <sighs> that should work out more. No, I should, no. Okay, so here we go, NFTs. Let's, let's tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. They're crap. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Uh, was that about? I, 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 they're stupid. Now, let me elaborate a little bit because people are like, what? I've been investing in NFTs like forever. Well, good news, this is an investment advice. Don't take it. If you listen to a dude with a bro hawk and a dream, well then, let's see where that gets you. All right, cool, so here we go, NFTs. Let me under explain something right now. We are talking about computer code and we're talking about many computers coming together. We're talking about the blockchain, okay? For, for people that are new to this. And hey, Precious Metals people, just stick around. You're gonna learn something. We're talking about decentralized blockchains or there's some centralized blockchains over here. Or then there's some that we don't even know what they are yet, but they got some really shiny wrapping around them called advertising. Lots of big money to suck you in. And that's the problem. You gotta be, you gotta figure out which is which, right? Decentralized, centralized, or crap. All right. So we're talking about on a blockchain, it's, it's code that's written, and it ties all these computers together and essentially makes a supercomputer, right? Okay. Not a quantum computer, it's not quant, but it's supercomputer. That's from the Ninja. So, this is the point. Any of these, if coded properly, can produce an NFT. Now, what is an NFT, you're asking? It stands for non-fungible token. It's a way of linking a physical item, like let's say a truck. You could do truck ownership, vehicle ownership. You could tie the VIN number and the model and make year, a little basic description of a vehicle and tie it to an NFT on the blockchain. So that NFT floats around on that blockchain all the time and it would show ownership. And as the vehicle changes ownership, the NFT has a little add-on and then it shows that that vehicle transferred title. It's gonna be a great way, NFTs, to um, track vehicles for state governments, right? And it'll cut costs down insanely. I mean, stupid low. And your DMV might actually get faster. I don't know about California, though. So, we're seeing insanely stupid things being made in NFTs. Now, I grant you, there's gonna, what's interesting, like we see like, Gary V pumping the whole NFT market for sports cards. Like there's gonna be an NFT tied to this 10 graded gem meant, you know, uh, Michael Jordan rookie card. And if you can't own it because it's $50,000, well, you could own $500 worth of it. And as it goes up in value, um, your $500 will go up in value and you could sell off that piece of the card. And you can, you know, a third party is gonna hold on to it and put it in a vault and put a camera on it. And anytime you want, because you own part of that NFT, you can just click on your, your remote control on your TV and look at your card. That is literally about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I mean, you think about this, you've got third party costs involved in that. And they're like, hey, look at what I got on my TV. We're literally living through that video, uh, that movie, Ready Player One. We need real things, guys. You need ownership of real things. You know, I mean, you know, think about this. The IMF was, was it the IMF or the World Economic Council? Right on the front page of their uh, website. Put it in the description below, guys. I know you guys know what it is. I'm going off the cuff. Says so this phrase, by a certain date, and it's coming quick. I think it's within five or 10 years. You will own nothing and like it. And they're pushing it on you right now. All of these uh, stories about NFT bull crap is getting you into the idea of, I can make money and they're throwing out all this glitz and glamour. I'm gonna tell you right now, Digibyte was the first blockchain that I know of that actually had NFTs. Now, I, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, so, so what, Ninja, Ninja, why are you so upset? Why are you so fired up? Well, this is why I'm fired up. This story came out of the hedge earlier, that a humanoid robot, which already we're having the most stupidest conversations with like hey let's get this humanoid robot that's got like a rubber face we're gonna put it on a stage and he's gonna talk to really bright human beings and he's gonna school them well then maybe the human beings aren't that bright let's see what the humanoid says is our future like dude this is literally that movie idiocracy coming true right now well uh, we like the sports drink why can't the plants like sports drink i don't know why they're dying 
I feel great. I love sports drinks. Freaking morons. We're, we're growing up in a society of morons. And you know what? I'm ready to fight it. I'm ready to stand up with you guys and make a difference. And the only way you can make a difference is truth, sharing the truth. And I know we've done videos about that in the past of how that doesn't always go right. This stupid humanoid just made some artwork. I can't make artwork. Nah, I paint picture of tree. And it sells for like 688 grand. Well, you know what? I'm so happy it did. You know why? Because someone's now got a 688. 80, oh, they, they tied an NFT to it. Sorry, the whole story. Humanoid, I make robot picture. And then uh, they tie an NFT to it and some idiot paid 688 grand. Well, you know what's gonna be great? To watch that dude try and sell it for more than 688 grand. Good luck. There's always a fool born somewhere. And we're already seeing that. There's people buying NFTs for like 100 Gs and they can't sell them. Oh. And you know what else is really interesting? Since everybody and their mother wants to do NFTs, I've got a great idea today, let's do NFTs. Just like ICOs, you're gonna find that you're gonna wanna sell that NFT and you're like, oh, I don't run on that blockchain or I, uh, that blockchain's got some issues, it had some technical glitches a while ago or, or there was some kind of 51% attack. Wake up people to what Digibyte is. I'm not joking. Like, <laughs> there's, oh my gosh. Ninja, tell us what you really think about NFTs. I thought I just did. Well, no, I think there's more. You're holding back. I don't think so. I haven't had enough coffee. Total crap. Seriously. Now they have their function, but not for what they're doing right now. This is glitz and glamour, guys. This is the Crypto Kitties of 2018. Woo! I'm telling you right now, DeFi isn't exactly what everyone thinks it is. I'm telling you, it's being wrapped up in a pretty little package right now, and it ain't what you think. We're DeFi. No, but you're centralized. No, we're DeFi. Don't tell anybody. Dude, most people don't even know what decentralization is when it comes to blockchain. Start reading it. Go check out Blockchain 2035. My mind's already spinning as I read it. It doesn't take much to confuse the ninja. So I hope you guys got something out of this. It's a rant about NFTs. I think uh, there's a lot of people putting money into this where you should be sitting back and going, listen, all in the blockchain that it's running on. Okay, I'll, I'll give that uh, some credence, but the, going after NFTs right now, ah. What, what, because you bought the first NFT, you think it's gonna go up exponentially? I don't think so. It should only go up as the perceived value of whatever it's tied to. You see what I'm saying? Did the humanoid robot make a cool painting? Is it a Rembrandt? Probably not. Because it didn't take true human emotion to make it. It took electricity and a little servo moving a paintbrush up and down. How stupid is this? Seriously, guys. Insanity. If you agree with this insanity, share the video. Like, I'm not even joking. People need to hear how stupid we're becoming. Because then, maybe they'll get offended enough to actually do something about it. All right, with that, I'm cutting off. The Economic Ninja is out.